production externality. It simply talks about the combination of both the social cost of production and the private cost of production. So, whatever, we, whatever the case might be, it's talking about the society itself, it's talking about the third party. So the action or inaction of firms in the cost of production that brings about, you know, spin over to the third party, that is what externality is about. So, what is negative externality of production and what makes it different from positive externalities of production? There's negative externality of production if the social cost of production exceeds the private cost of production, which means the society is paying more than what the private firms that, you know, that made the action are paying. That is negative externality of production. Then there's positive externality of production if the firms that made the action are paying more than the society. That is positive externality of production. Is it clear now? Is it clear, please? Is it clear? So we'll go on to consumption now. Consumption, yes. So there's consumption externalities because the social there's different there's difference between the social cost of product or consumption and the private benefit of consumption. It is consumption now. So it's the difference between the social cost or the social benefit of it's very between the social benefit of consumption and the private benefit of consumption. So if the social benefit of consumption exceeds the private benefit of consumption, then we have, if, if social benefit exceeds the private benefit, then we have positive ex uh, consumption. But if the, neg if the social benefit of consumption is lesser than the private benefit of consumption, it is negative, ex of consum negative externality of consumption. Is it clear? Is it clear now, please? Yeah. Okay. So we'll go to market failure. So when we talk about market failure, it's simply talking about the inefficiency in the market. And inefficiency means lower quantities or missing markets. Do you understand? So here they go. The price mechanism allocates resources. Output is fixed where demand equals supply at the point where private costs equal private benefit. However, a misallocation of resources will occur if market prices do not accurately reflect the costs and benefits of society to society of economic Sorry, activities. By the way, for market failure, we're not trying to think square. Well, for market failure here, we're simply talking about understanding the cost benefits of that action. We call it cost benefit. So you want to understand the cost of the production and the benefit of production. So the benefit of consuming it. So you have to put both of them have to be equal. If they are not equal then there's inefficiency. So that brings about ex negative externality, which is a market failure. So they said the greater the externality, the larger will be this difference between private cost and benefits and social cost and benefits. So the greater the externality, the greater the market failure. And the less market prices provided accurate signals for the optimal allocation of resources. So aside externality, if there's misallocation in the market, either too much is being provided supply into the market or too little is being supplied into the market, it is still market failure. Do you understand? So, there's misallocation of resources, it's a market failure. Social cost, uh, social cost of production exceeding social, uh, private cost of production, it is, an, it is a market failure. Mis uh, irrational consumers, uh, due to mar bad market signal, it's also a market failure. So all these things will bring about irrationality for consumers. And if there's irrationality for consumers, it's also a market failure. So too much is a market failure, too little is a market failure. Is it clear? Any question about externalities now? Okay, so we'll go to marginal cost and benefits. 